Hello everyone and welcome back to The Letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to highlight your video footage synchronized to your music. This effect is very simple but super effective when it comes to editing your videos. It can be used in many different projects such as gaming montages, traveling vlogs or music videos. I really want to teach you guys things that might be too simple for some people but will help most of you becoming better editor in general instead of teaching you something super complex that you might use only once and then never again. Don't get me wrong, there will be more advanced tutorials in this channel as well, especially when we are talking about intros, but I think in the first place aesthetics are most important. I want to teach people simple tricks that will let their videos look a lot more professional without putting hundreds of hours into boring editing. So I hope you are with me and let's jump into the tutorial. After we edit our video clip and the music to the project, we are going to set markers right where we want the highlights to happen. To do so, simply listen to your music and set a marker at either a high note or a beat drop. Scroll into the timeline to have a better overview of the peaks and drops of your audio file and set the marker while pressing M on your keyboard. After that we are going to look for the effect called levels in our video fix tab and drag the standard preset onto our video clip. Then we're going to click on the small clock icon next to the input and setting so we can light up our scene. As we move on we're going to go to the first marker that we set previously and use the arrow keys to go one frame before the marker where we create a new keyframe and make sure our input and setting value is at 1000. Then go one frame forward so we are right on the marker again and reduce the input and setting value to 850. This will create a gentle shine in our video. Now we move 20 frames forward and set the input and setting value back to 1000. This way we create a smooth fade out of the highlight effect. From here on you're gonna repeat this process until you finish the whole scene. If you can't have 20 frames for the fade out in between the highlights, simply put the reset keyframe two frames before the orange marker. This should fix your problem. And this is it, a simple but cool effect that you can use multiple times in any kind of project. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Also if you want awesome videos like this one more frequently, be sure to check out my Patreon page by clicking on the at the end of the video or the link in the video description.